Homer called it the glory of the immortals. To the Incas, it was the sweat of the sun. The Egyptians believed it would support them in the afterlife. For thousands of years, gold has tempted explorers, supported empires, and has become a market barometer. Its value stems from its rarity. All the gold mined over the course of civilization wouldn't fill four Olympic-sized swimming pools. A direct link between gold and currency emerged in 550 BC, when the first gold coins were struck in what is now part of modern Turkey. In the 19th century, currencies around the world were fixed to gold. That lasted until 1971, when President Nixon announced the US would no longer exchange dollars for gold at a set price. For investors, though, gold still glitters in times of crisis. Its value peaked at $1,900 an ounce in 2011, and demand often spikes at times of market stress as investors look for a safe haven. Despite the allure, gold is not immune to economic realities. A slowdown in China has pulled prices down, and gold's usefulness is limited. Its primary purpose today for jewellery. Still, many follow in the footsteps of the Spanish conquistador and Anne Cortez, who said, I and my companions suffer from a disease of the heart that can be cured only with gold.